Hello guys and welcome to a brand new tutorial how to create Minecraft 2D. This is Tumor Touch and this is the episode 8. And in this episode we are going to do a lot of crazy things. So let me just adjust one little thing here. Let's just say 300%. Let's select this one. Something like this. Uh, obviously. That. That will just give us a nice effect and gotta be there. Alright. Uh, now, first of all, let's create a sprite which will say object back. Oh, wait, I'm forgetting one thing here. Uh, go to objects, go to control, go to object empty and put in a step event with a control code. And in this control code, we will just say if place meeting. X, Y, object. Solid block. I know I did something wrong there. And then instance destroy. Like that. Okay, that was a pretty easy adjustment. Uh, now, what we want to do is we want to create a background in our game. So, with the background, you need to have dirt grass, stone, and bedrock. Yeah, you need that. And, um, hang on a second. Then go to image, intensity, and put it a little bit down, so it's dark. Alright, so you can see it's a background. Or you can see it is in the background, which gives you the illusion that we are living in a 3D world which will look cooler. So go to objects control, I mean group control and put in object background here and say that the depth is like 99 or something like that. Now put it right here. Um, of course select your sprite well, like that. Now I'm gonna search for objects. That's right, add a creation event and a draw event and first say that it is a line in a grid of 32 by 32 and then put a code in here say that the image speed is 0 image index is um, 3 I mean 2 and uh, if place meeting let me do this Holy shit, what's going on? Oh, seriously? Alright, so if, if it's meeting uh, grass, then the image index is going to be 0. If it's going to be dirt, then it's going to be 1. And else it's going to be 2. Uh, you guys remember the uh, bedrock code we did in um, in the creation event of stone? So go to object stone creation event and then you will see this here. Uh, just replace uh, the image, uh, I mean object change with uh, image indexes 3. So you will create bedrock out there. That's pretty sweet, uh, pretty good looking. Uh, now, alright, we want to create our background object whenever an object is destroyed but let's say we are building a tower alright we are building a tower of grass now um, then we are destroying those uh, grass objects and we don't want we don't want there to be a background there alright so um, we gotta use we gotta use uh, hang on a second this is with something else. Not really good. Um, yeah, so we don't want this, okay? So I just build a tower of dirt. You can see it here. And then it suddenly leaves um, 
it suddenly leaves a background of dirt, like I am uh, creating two layers of dirt. We don't want that. So that's a bug I need to fix in my project, but we are going to uh, adjust. We are going to fix that immediately in here. So go to object break, go to alarm zero, and just copy it. Then open up these uh, these three and add alarm zero in there. And just paste the code in there. Now let's first go to stone. All right. So uh, in here we are going to say if place not meeting uh, x y object background, then it's going to instance create x y object background. So here we are um, creating the background whenever this object of stone is destroyed. Now um, we don't want that. Like I said, like I showed you, we don't want the tower of backgrounds. Um, we only want it to create a background when it is uh, below, like below this level. Okay, so we got it. Copy this, paste it here, and say larger or equal. And let's just say and and just copy this. Like that. Alright. Um I think this will work. I didn't even I did not even test it. Um so copy this one. Yeah. And you will be fine. That's cool. Now go to uh, your object background again and add the draw event and just say draw shaders. Oh. That one. That's pretty cool. Um I think we're we're pretty we're pretty done here. Let's just let's just give it a go. Whoops. So it's loading right now. Do you guys watch Arrow by the way? It's pretty cool. Uh, the season final was this week. It's pretty awesome. So where am I? I'm right here. That's cool. Uh, let's collect some dirt. So now it is okay. I switched the numbers. So whenever there is um, dirt, it's creating grass, and whenever there is grass, it's creating dirt. So I gotta switch that. Uh, but that's not the point here. Um, the point is, we are creating those things here. We don't want them um, to go with a background. All right, it's kind of working. Not really. Um, you can see the. Um, let Let me show you. Uh, let's go here. Let's go here. Uh, this is a variable uh, which is not aligned to a grid. Um, it is. Um, it is the AH variable, which is um, which, is, which which can be. Hang on a second. Um, note. Which basically can be like this. You know, just saying. Um, or even like like a more random, like this. You know. It's not divided by 32. You will not get a round. Uh, you will not get a, a whole number like one or two. You will always get something like this behind uh, the the real number. So that's why it's not really really working. But the same thing is with the the shaders. Sometimes uh, we are creating. Um, the light sources and sometimes we are randomly destroying them on parts we thought there uh, there will not be the uh, light source so just go with that that's pretty cool uh, it works so that's it now I need to switch those this is one 
this is serum. That's right, I remember now. Alright, so that's the background. Uh, we have time to do more because I really want to go with the um, crafting table. Now, that's uh, that's the next episode. See you guys.